The world of parasitic wasps is incredibly diverse in both species and their method of parasitism. As we've highlighted in a previous video, some wasps target creatures like spiders, others take up residence inside plants, such as figs, and among them, there's a parasitic wasp that turns our much-loathed cockroaches into zombies. Today, we're delving into the world of the emerald cockroach wasp, scientifically known as Ampulex compressa. Its vibrant, gem-like body color has also earned it the name Jewel Wasp. Although this wasp is quite small, measuring about 2 centimeters in length, their primary targets are large cockroaches, which are twice their size. After mating, a female jewel wasp seeks out a cockroach. Her goal? To zombify it. She searches for the perfect spot to inject her neurotoxin. The drama begins the moment her first stinger pierces the cockroach's thorax. First, the neurotoxin, which contains Y-aminobutyric acid, temporarily paralyzes the cockroach's legs. Seizing this opportunity, the jewel wasp delivers a second, more precise sting, incapacitating the cockroach even further. This sting pierces right through the cockroach's neck to accurately target the ganglion of the brain. During this phase, the wasp is known to act with extreme precision. According to Dr. Ram Gall from Ben-Gurion University in Israel, who has researched the ecology of the jewel wasp, if a cockroach with its brain removed is given to the wasp, the wasp will observe it for about 10 minutes without making any moves to sting it. Even when it does decide to sting, the wasp administers only about a sixth of its usual venom dose, taking a cautious approach and carefully monitoring the situation. Returning to the main topic, once its brain is targeted in this manner, the cockroach exhibits bizarre behavior for about 30 minutes, frantically cleaning its body as if possessed. Owing to the cockroach's peculiar actions, the jewel wasp is then able to deposit its eggs into the freshly cleaned body of the roach. After completing its grooming, the cockroach becomes lethargic, showing no desire to flee. But the jewel wasp doesn't stop there. It goes on to sever the antenna of the cockroach in order to completely block its senses. While doing so, it feeds on the fluid flowing within to nourish itself. Brutal, isn't it? With its antenna removed, the clueless cockroach is meekly dragged along, led wherever the jewel wasp guides it. Upon reaching the burrow it had previously dug, the jewel wasp lays its eggs on the tips of the cockroach's legs. It then seals the entrance of the burrow with fallen leaves and gravel, blocking any predators that might be attracted to the zombified cockroach. Roughly two days later, the eggs hatch into larvae, which continue to grow by feeding on the still-living cockroach. However, a question arises here. Cockroaches are famously known to harbor a plethora of bacteria. How do these larvae manage to grow healthily inside the cockroach's body without becoming infected by these bacteria? In 2012, Dr. Goodrun from the Department of Zoology at the University of Regensburg discovered, as shown in this footage, that the larvae of the jewel wasp secrete saliva while feeding on the cockroach's body. Contained within this saliva are antibiotics like Y-gamma-lactone and isocomerin, which protect the larva from bacteria. The larva, after growing in such a pristine condition for 40 days, create a cocoon. After undergoing a pupal stage, they emerge as adult wasps, breaking free from the cockroach's body and continuing their life cycle once more. However, even the seemingly defenseless cockroach has a terrifying weapon at its disposal, the backward kick. In 2018, Dr. Kenneth Catania from Vanderbilt University pinpointed the moment when, as the jewel wasp approaches, 
the cockroach fiercely counteracts with a backward kick, desperately trying to fend off the wasp. Hiya! In particular, the sharp spines on their legs can inflict serious damage to the jewel wasp. According to experiments, it is said that an astonishing 63% of cockroaches manage to save themselves with a rear kick. However, this result pertains mostly to adult cockroaches. The younger ones, perhaps due to a lack of practice, often fail to land a successful backward kick. As a result, many are overtaken by the jewel wasp and have their brains commandeered. A true showdown between the predator and the prey. The natural world is brimming with vibrant stories, isn't it? Science is a window to the world. And this has been Science Dream. Thank you for watching.